right, this is where our video starts. We made it, Grand Central Station. We're gonna do some videos down here. Let's have some fun. And look at the crowd of people here as we exit the ramp from our train from Poughkeepsie, New York, here at Grand Central Station. Now, I've been through Grand Central many times, but I figured you guys haven't, so I'll show you guys the, I don't know, what do you call this, concourse? I think that's what they call it. It is pretty cool. We're gonna do a little video game hunting today. <laughs> we're gonna go to two stores. We're gonna go to the Nintendo store and we're gonna go to Book Offs because they're very close to each other. And uh, Book Offs is my new recent favorite store to visit um, because of the games that they have in that store. It's pretty amazing the stuff they get traded. And of course, with so many people, you know, there's so much more they could possibly get in. So let's go to those two stores. Uh, well, we made it to our first location. Love the giant golden Mario Amiibo. Nintendo New York City. Now they had some new merchandise come out here so this is going to be pretty cool. Some shirts, jackets, hats, Mario Kart stuff so it's going to be awesome. I, I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't even know if they're going to have it available but it came out today, September 1st. And I found it actually super quick. Right at the front of the store, this awesome Mario jacket. These are 100 bucks. They actually feel like very good quality. $99, Nintendo New York. I think this is an exclusive. We also have the uh, blue shell t-shirt. These are $25, along with some Mario Kart mugs. I'm not a mug person. You guys mug people. We've got the thermoses. I wish they'd display this a little bit better, but they got the uh, Mario keychain with a lot of different things on it. The uh, banana, the blue shell, looks like the star and the mushroom. Really awesome hat. I can only pull off certain hats, so I don't know if this one's gonna work on me. We'll, we're gonna check it out and see right now. As Mario would say, here we go. I don't know, you guys let me know. I, I don't think so. I'm a backwards hat guy and I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't, I don't think it's me. <laughs> Got some really cool t-shirts this shirt's cool this is like neoprene this is a nice material oh, this one's gonna be more expensive for sure 35 dollars. that actually ain't bad for what this is you gonna put one on for yourself sir this is your new security uniform here is the last of the merchandise i believe these are hoodies i don't know little little busy i think the security guard here he agrees do, do you want to be on video Okay. All right. The one thing I don't mind is the jackets. The jacket, yeah, the jacket's cool, right? Yeah, the jacket. This is too mind. busy. This, this is way too busy. The the shirts and the hoodie, all that just too much. Yeah, and what are you? I don't mind. And what are you gonna do with this? <laughs> Whoa! No way! I was not expecting that this would be thirty bucks. Are are they serious? Is this price wrong, dude? How is that real possible? You could get a shirt or this. That's nuts. I don't think they're going to sell many of these. I think these are going to be on clearance. This one is a, uh, Nintendo Live 2023 Seattle. We are in the wrong city for that. <laughs> it's a, another special t-shirt for Seattle as well. Let's see. $25. This is the best shirt for sure. I have one of these. These are the best. I only wear these when I go to the convention. Love this shirt. I couldn't help myself. I did get a few things here that I showed you guys. I did get the jacket. And got this really cool t-shirt as well as another t-shirt that maybe I'll show you guys in the future. <laughs> we are done in here. That was an expensive trip to the Nintendo store, but I wanted to get in there before that merchandise was gone. There's a lot of exclusive stuff. I wasn't, man, there was a lot more that I could have bought. And the Seattle stuff is really cool and I couldn't pass it up even though we're not in Seattle because it clearly says we're in New York right there. But I wonder if they sell New York stuff in Seattle when they have events here.
I feel like we just did this. It's only been about a week since I've been here, but we'll give it a second try two weeks in a row to see if anything's changed in the store since the last visit. Wow. This is pretty neat. I don't remember seeing this here last week. Very hard to find those 3DS boxes. Unless they removed it. It looks like someone bought that copy of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, and I feel bad for them. So if someone bought this because... I'm pretty confident that was not an authentic copy. Well, never mind. I found it. There it is. Still here. $2.99. They do have a few Nintendo 64 games I have, but all the labels are kind of torn up here on the games that I need. For example, I uh, don't have this game here, but that is rough looking. Mega Man 64. I'm hoping to just find that one out in the wild somewhere. Wait to come across it. But you look at some of these labels. They are... They are toasted. They have a small amiibo collection. I never really got into these. You guys let me know if you guys got into these. But it gives me an idea of what some of them are worth if I see them at flea markets and yard sales. Because I have no idea really to be honest. And it's interesting to see what's worth money and what is not. It's one of those interesting walls that I've never really walked past. All these different figures that are worth less than some other stuff. Oh, there you go. Here's a cool one. They're just totally random. Ghostbusters. Let's see if you guys recognize anything on here. This almost looks like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I know it's not though. Transformer. I was going to buy this pin for my daughter because she's a My Hero Academia uh, fan. But she said she was a terrible character. I, I have no idea who this is. I think it's Catwoman. No, it's not Lady. I have no idea who that is. This is funny. Anyone been watching my videos long enough knows that I collect copies of Mario Kart. I have probably close to 30 copies of Mario Kart Wii. I'm not buying this one because it's $31, but uh, I thought it would be funny to show you guys. Didn't find anything in Book Off today that I was looking for. I think maybe it's just a little too soon. It's only been a week. It's been like eight days. Wow, this guy, this guy found some stuff though, man. That's a that's a good haul right there. Oh, you got some Simpson stuff too. That's awesome. Oh. Last week when I came, they were closed. They have the Back to the Future store. This is awesome. Check it out. This is so awesome. Back to the Future musical. It opened on my birthday, June 30th. So. I want to see this, but I probably won't. <laughs> but look at this, they got all kinds of awesome Back to the Future merchandise here. They got the clock from Hell Valley. Lots of different merchandise. I think my favorite thing in here, I got two of them, is this time circuit, and it's got the date of the opening uh, of, the sh of the musical, which is June 30th, my birthday, which is super cool. And my second favorite item is these waters right here. The plutonium waters that say Back to the Future. How awesome is this? These are expensive. They're 10 bucks. I did buy one that's going to be my souvenir to myself from visiting this store. Staff in here was super nice. Thank you very much. I paid full price for everything. I even said thank you. They didn't give me any kind of discount. <laughs> now, there is really no plane today, so we're going to see where else we land. Might end up back on the train. Might keep exploring. I don't know. You don't know? We don't know. Found one more store to go in. J and L Gaming. Pikachu and Giant Mario welcome us to their store. Just look at all the Joy-Cons they have. They have all the new ones. And then of course, they have some of the classic ones you can't find in the stores anymore, like these Fortnite ones and Zelda. I sold a, a pair of these cell at the last video game show I went to for used for 100 bucks. Brand new, 150 bucks now. Originally 80 bucks. This is cool. I have one of these. I bought one last year, the Turbo Graphics 16 Express. I didn't pay anywhere near this, so I think I got a pretty good deal. This one's a thousand dollars. Pretty rare system. We are wrapping the video up. Well, I didn't buy anything in the video game store in the last one. Well, uh, kinda. <laughs> so there was a guy in there that had a Nintendo 64 and a bunch of games. 
and the store was offering him 70 bucks. And he's like, that's ridiculous. And I'm like, oh my God, that is ridiculous. So I waited outside for him to come out and I said, hey buddy, <laughs> I wanted to make sure he didn't make a deal because you know, they're in business, they have a store, they have you know, bills and expenses and stuff like that. I'm not gonna try to steal away a customer, but if he walks out the side and I catch him, um, I'm gonna make him an offer. So I made him an offer on these games of 80 bucks and I uh, got a bunch of cool games. So at uh, kind of wholesale or retail, I paid him more than he would have got from the store, but then allowed me to still get a good deal. So while I'm here in the city, I met some beautiful women. I got two new girlfriends. They're from Texas or somewhere. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks like, for, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.